In this screencast, I'm going to show you how we can use relational operators, logical operators, logical functions, and logical indexing. These constructs are essential for data analysis. Oftentimes, you need to restrict the analysis to certain cases. And in MATLAB, logical variables can be used as checks to see what part of your data meets your criteria. So these are the relational operators in MATLAB. If you have a variable A and a variable B, these could be scalars or vectors or matrices, you can compare A to B and see which elements of the matrix are greater than, smaller than, equal, uh, which elements are equal to each other or not equal to. Now note the special notation for the test for equality. In MATLAB, you use a double equals, equal sign to test which elements of the variable A are equal to the variable uh, B. And that's very different from a single equal sign. A single equal sign means A will be assigned to whatever the value of B is. So note, uh, note this is a very important distinction. So I'm going to show you uh, in MATLAB how we can use the relational operators. Suppose we have a vector uh, H, and this vector contains the ages of five people. So we have the ages 12, 45, 32, etc. Suppose I need to check uh, which elements of this vector equal 21, are equal to 21. Uh, we can use this double equal sign notation. And now the vector that's returned is a logical variable where a one indicates a true value, a zero indicates a false value. And so the one is used to indicate those cases where this expression is true. So that's the fourth element in this case. Similarly, I can test which elements are bigger than or equal to 21, and that returns the following true false values. And I can test which ones are bigger than 21. Okay, so then you get a slightly different answer. Now, the key in MATLAB is to use these logical variables as indices into a vector or matrix. So here's a neat trick in MATLAB. You can say h, and in parenthesis, h bigger than 21. And now the result is that I get the ages back of the elements of this logical variable uh, where that return true values. So the, the elements where the value equals one, so that's the second, third, and fifth value, those are, are used as indices now into this vector h. So these are the only entries where this expression uh, is true. In some cases, the result can be the empty vector. So if I have h bigger than 100, that returns only a bunch of zeros. And so there's no entry that is true, and therefore the result is an empty matrix. Now this logical indexing can also work across variables of the same size. So suppose I have another vector, 10101, and let's suppose that a one indicates that a person is female and zero uh, male. Now I can do things like this. I can find out what are the ages of the females in this sample. So gender equal equal one, test for the equality uh, of one. So that's the first, third, and fifth element. And now again, that's used as an index into this age vector. So I get the ages of the females. Similarly, I can use the not equal sign to get the ages of the males. And it would get an equivalent result if I would test for an equality for a um, uh, gender equal uh, to zero. Now, a standard function in data analysis is the mean function to calculate the mean of a set of values. For example, if we want to calculate the mean age, we enter simply mean age and I get the age of all uh, five elements of the age vector. But I can also calculate the mean of a restricted set of values. I can calculate the mean age of the females by simply using this expression that we had before, age of the females, uh, 
and nest that within the uh, mean function. And now this is the mean of the uh, mean age of the females. Another important construct in MATLAB are logical operators. So logical operators can be used to compare two logical uh, variables. And you can find the elements where A uh, and B are true, so where A and B equal one, or elements where A or B uh, are one, or you can use this not uh, sign, this tilde uh, operator, and this finds the element where not A equals true, or where equivalently A equals zero. Now this is useful if we want to test for a number of things. So suppose we want to find which elements of age are bigger than 21 and where gender equals uh, one. So who are the uh, females that are older than uh, 21? And that returns this following logical variable. Similarly, I can test for who are the people that are older than 21 or are female. And that yields the following uh, result. I can use the not operator, for example, the following way I can say, who is not older than uh, 21? And you can use relational operators as well as logical uh, operators, again, to restrict the number of cases that you use for data analysis. So I can calculate the mean of the ages of people that are older than 21 and that are female in the following way. Now finally, another useful construct in MATLAB is the any and all function. I can test when he, whether any of the elements of a vector are true. For example, if I say age smaller than 50, so I'm testing who is small or who is uh, younger than 50, and any is uh, whether any of the elements of the vector uh, satisfy this expression. So in this case, there are elements of the vector where true, uh, true values, values of one. I can also see, are there any people that are older than 100? And I get a zero. Now the all function has uh, exactly the meaning that you would expect. Are all people over the age of 10? And the answer is yes. Are all people over the age of 20? And the answer equals uh, no. There's another useful function, the is empty function. So suppose I go back to this example and I test whether there are people that are older than 100. And the answer is no. There are no elements of the vector that meet that expression, that satisfy the expression. So if I use this as an index into age, the result is an empty matrix. Now, suppose I assign this result of this comparison to another variable called result. So result now is this empty matrix. I can test whether this uh, variable is empty by using the as empty uh, function. So is the result variable, is that empty? And the answer is yes. And that's a, a useful function to use in data analysis to see whether when, when restricting cases to a more narrow set, uh, whether you've resulted in the empty set at some point. And that's a useful uh, case to flag.